Mac OS and Linux are both great operating systems. They are both inspired by Unix and are stable and robust. Much as these two operating systems have in common, they are unique in their own ways. Let's take a look at some key differences between Mac OS and Linux. Both Linux and Mac OS heavily use open source software, but while Linux distributions are entirely open source, parts of Mac OS are closed source and proprietary. From the open source kernel to core GNU utilities and GUI environments, Linux is the epitome of free and open source software. You are free to modify and repackage the entire OS to your liking. You can even commercialize and earn money from it, as is the case with Red Hat Enterprise Linux. In most cases, the licensing terms for Linux require that the modifications you make are also made public to the community. With Mac OS, it is mainly the kernel that is open source. The other parts such as the desktop and applications are not open source. Of course, other components from Apple such as the Swift programming language are open source. 2. Software Management Linux has long embraced the concept of having central software repositories, from where users can easily download and install applications using the command line or via graphical tools. Most Linux distros come with package managers such as APT on Debian-based distros, DNF or Yum on Fedora, and Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and Pacman on Arch-based distros. With a package manager, you can install, remove, update, and manage software applications with ease on your PC. 3. Command Line Prominence The true power of Linux is in the terminal or the command line. Mac OS has a similar terminal emulator available, but much of the attention goes to the fancy Mac desktop. The terminal allows you to interact with your PC and software resources in an efficient and easy way. Plus, it allows you to automate and schedule tasks easily. Software engineers, advanced users, and system administrators running Linux heavily incorporate the terminal in their workflow. 4. Desktop Environments In the early days of Linux, operating systems based on the kernel did ship with the GUI, and most Linux servers still don't. You had to interact with the operating system via the terminal. With time, desktop environments were developed to help users interact with the operating system in a more intuitive and friendly way so that the OS could cater to advanced and non-technical users alike. As with all things Linux, there are multiple desktop environments that you can choose from, all of which offer a unique way for you to interact with the system. Some prominent desktop environments include GNOME, XFC, KDE Deepin, etc. You are free to install several desktop environments on Linux. However, you can only use one at a time. 5. The concept of multiple distributions On Linux, a distro or distribution is a particular type of Linux that comes with a specific set of applications, desktop environment, and system utilities. Different distros usually target a specific set of users such as ethical hackers, artists, programmers, software developers, etc. There are literally thousands of Linux distros that you can choose from depending on your workflow. For example, Kali Linux, a Debian-based distro, is mostly used for ethical hacking and penetration testing. It comes with plenty of tools and utilities suitable for ethical hackers. The Battle of the Best Linux and Mac OS are both great and share some Unix heritage. For example, both come with a similar command line shell and have an identical file structure. All other differences stem from the fact that the Linux kernel is open source and anyone is free to modify it. Not sure which Linux distro to use? With hundreds of Linux distros to choose from, it can be hard to find the right one. Debian-based distros such as Ubuntu and Pop OS are awesome and easy to start with. We are almost wrapping up. These are the common differences between these two. Hope you like this video. Please comment, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos.